Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving you a Millwall analysis video. Now, today's Millwall analysis video is Oxford versus Millwall. Yes, the second leg of the Johnstones Paint Trophy game. Millwall did end up winning the game 1 0. That was a great result, really, because we won the game. But unfortunately, we did need to, to press it to penalties, and unfortunately, it didn't quite happen, and we did end up losing 2 1 on aggregate. And we actually had a player sent off, and I do think that if that player hadn't have been sent off, there would have been a chance for us to get straight back in this game. Anyway, enough about what happened. Let's actually talk about the highlights of this game. Now, the first chance is actually a chance for Millwall. It's with Jed Wallace. It isn't the best of chances, but he got the ball at the edge of the area, and he decided to shoot. Unfortunately, Bushell made a very easy save, and, well... Most of the chances in the first half were pretty similar to this Jed Wallace chance for Oxford and for Millwall. So, we actually just end up going into the second half as quick as that. I don't think I've ever had to talk about what happened in the second half as quick as I have in this video. Now, the first chance in the second half is for Morrison. Wallace had the ball because he actually managed to flick the ball over a defender's head. That ended up then going to Gregory. Gregory then played the ball over the top in for Morrison. Now, Morrison had the ball, but he let it bounce a few times before taking the shot. And this allowed Bouchel to get off his line. And as Morrison shot, Bouchel made a fantastic acrobatic save to stop Morrison from scoring. It could have been a very good chance, but unfortunately, Bouchel did come off his line. Now, Millwall did score the only goal and the first goal of the game. And it's frustrating to be saying that, but that goal that we did score was absolutely fantastic. Wallace dribbled the ball up the pitch from just about the halfway line. And as he got to the edge of the area, he played the ball to Aiden O'Brien, then passed the ball into the area for Lee Gregory. Now, Gregory then turned fantastically, and it was a perfect shot as it slots straight into the back of the net. And as I said, it made it 1-0 to us. That was the only goal in the game. But it was a very nice goal to score, nevertheless. Now, let me just quickly talk about the penalty shout that Millwall got. I really do think it was pointless. And O'Brien crossed the ball in the area for Upson. Now, Upson, he did get challenged. But I do think he went down far too easily, very lightly, as if he was looking for the penalty. So, I can't really say that we actually deserve to get the penalty there. I mean, I don't usually put myself saying that Mill shouldn't get a penalty, but... Upson really shouldn't have done that. I do believe he dived. Now, let's talk about what happened with Mark Beavers. Now, he did get a first yellow card for something I can't quite put my finger on to know what the actual reason was for. I have a few ideas here, so I'll let you know this. So, Beavers lost the ball to Kimar Roof. Roof then was running up the pitch. Beavers then fell over. I think he tried to pull him down. He didn't quite manage to. So... There's where I don't really know why it was a yellow card. It may be for the intent, or I did hear people saying that he was pulling his shirt the entire time. So if he was pulling his shirt, then he definitely deserves the yellow card. But if he wasn't, then I can't really justify that yellow card, to be honest. But his second yellow card, and the one that also added to him getting sent off, it was so stupid. A player of his experience shouldn't be doing this. What happened was Beavers got the wrong side of... Hilton, Hilton then managed to move past him and Beavers managed to rugby tackle him practically to the ground. What a stupid challenge for a player of his experience, a player of his class. Why would you do that when you're on a yellow card? I really don't know. It's one of those things that he probably did in the spur of the moment and definitely regretted it after doing it. But I just would have expected it to be common sense not to have done that. Yes, Oxford may have scored, but I think I would have preferred it if we hadn't have had a player sent off rather than conceding a goal. And I think that really did change the game because Millwall were dominating Oxford, let's be honest, and they deserved to get another goal. But as soon as that happened, it was like a switch was flipped and we really couldn't do much with the ball as Joe Martin had to come on in the centre-back position. And I think Jed Wallace was playing right back a few times during the game. So it was highly, highly frustrating because we couldn't get forward because our attacking players and some of our defensive players were playing out of position, and that's never too nice to see. Now, the last chance here was the free kick immediately after Beavers got sent off. It was a very, very fantastic free kick. Beautiful, if you must. 
and it looked likely that Kimo Roof was going to be taking the free kick, and he actually didn't. There was two players that were standing in front of the ball. I don't know quite who the two players were. I think one of them was Odawa. What happened was one of the players played it. As I said, I think it was Odawa. It may not have been. But I think they played it to Odawa, and they had a fantastic shot that made Archer make a superb save. Now, as I've said, unfortunately, Mill did get knocked out and don't make it to Wembley. All I've got to say by that is hopefully this will be a fantastic learning experience for the younger players and they can learn what it's like to not always achieve what you want to do. And also it'll be a learning experience for Beavers to know that he shouldn't be making stupid challenges and maybe Ford to know that he should catch the crosses. Nevertheless, I can't really blame too many players. I mean, Beavers' mistake did cost us and Ford's mistake did actually cost us there. So I can't say that the team were poor because I think that we gave it a good go against Oxford and I do think that we could have on another day managed to win that game but the first leg it was dreadful and I do think that was our downfall definitely now what about the key players in this game well for Millwall I'm gonna have to go with Lee Gregory he's a fantastic striker and he's starting to score a lot of goals and that goal that he did score was fantastic and I do think he could have had a lot more opportunities to score the goal if in fact, Beavers wasn't sent off because I think there would have been service for Gregory and Gregory would have managed to equal the game and take it to penalties, but who knows because Beavers did get sent off. Now for Oxford, I'm going to have to go with their player Odawa. He's a fantastic player. He played very well down the wings. He created a lot of chances and passed the ball very well and I think that's what you need in a player. And he definitely provided that on the day for Oxford. Now, Millwall's next game was actually against Warsaw at the weekend, so I will be doing a Millwall analysis video on that. That'll be going up around about 6 o'clock today, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Millwall analysis video. As I said, we are so unlucky to have been knocked out, but Barnsley did make the Johnstone Paint Trophy final. I would prefer not to play them, considering we haven't had fantastic games against them recently. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, stay tuned for more. No analysis videos. Goodbye.